<sighs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> I don't know. To... Listen, my sleep hasn't been the best. And I didn't know how I was going to get a video out, particularly today. I didn't know at all how I was going to do one. I just didn't feel like it. But hey, guess what? I'm blessed. I got a package today that is a very important one because I did a tournament race thing at Code Vein. This event thing, whatever. I won a $2,000 plus worth mask, I think. I, I'm pretty sure the the details of how rare this mask is and how limited it is in this box. And um, I want to open it and I guess talk about my experience getting it because some of y'all don't even know. Oh! All right, well, hard part's done. Oh no, this is gonna be messy, bro. They have like these little thingies, the peanuts in there. Oh, I hate the peanuts when it comes to like my room. I got a first aid kit. I don't know what this is. Is there glue in here? I got super glue. What am I about to do right now? All right, well, let's open this up, I guess. Oh! All right, well, that wasn't too hard. There's something on the front. I don't really know what this is. I probably should read it first before I try to show y'all. What used to belong to a power... <laughs> so this is pretty much explaining what I'm going to see in the order, I guess, that they have it in the box. All right, give me a second. I got to open this part now. Okay, so second part done. Now I got to open this. One second. I'm not really tired. It's just like, damn, there's a lot of, a lot of maintenance to this thingy. Okay, so now I can show it off properly. There's still a little bit more tape and stuff I gotta take off in, inside it, I, I believe. A cool second later, I finally unwrapped it properly. There was a lot of stuff inside it that I had to take out. I mean, this looks pretty cool. I I, I didn't see anything inside that told me anything about how much this actually is, but, but I remembered uh, Cyrus, one of the homies at Bondi, telling me that it is uh, 2K uh, or something like that because it's very limited, but I'm not selling it. It's just going to be there. Two parts even fell off of it already, so I mean, the value kind of <laughs> decreased on opening it, but I guess that's what the super glue is for. They're a really fragile little like uh, antenna thingies, but regardless, how I got this trophy is content in its own, in my opinion. Now, there's a story time with this. Now, I don't know if I told you, but there's two streams that I participated in on the day of, uh, I guess, Code Vein's release, Thursday or whatever the heck. The first one, it was just a regular stream where I was playing the game or whatever. Then the second one was later that night. It was like a party for their initial release of the game. How this exactly worked, there was one boss that was already queued up for us to play from like an alpha demo build or something like that. And whoever had the fastest time with defeating that boss would, would win, right? This situation got resolved now and I'll tell you how it got resolved and all that stuff. But for the sake of the video, I need to let you know my mindset through and through. Now, besides Besides me, there was two other people participating and uh, you know, people I've, I've kind of met or at least, oh, about to start. Only one person I met, her name was Fruitcake. Uh, she is a cosplay entertainer such as myself. And the other guy, I don't remember his name on top of my head, but he, apparently he does Dark Souls type games, right? Now, earlier in the day, when I first, I, I guess, got there to just play the game for the stream, whatever, I fought this boss and I lost like almost every single time. If you're there, hashtag team sends you down below. But because I lost how I did, I thought I wouldn't beat this boss whatsoever. I thought it was beyond me. And apologies if this is looking very like stuttery. I can't, I just downloaded it directly from the thing. I can't help the quality of it at all. Um, but this boss has two phases. The first one, I kind of, within focus mode, I kind of seen how to more or less handle this. Um, just avoiding her ice attacks and just dodging perfectly on her, her swipes. And I, I'm, I'm pretty confident I could, you know, kill her. Uh, I had like a speed boost thing that makes my dodges a lot better that I use and there's an attack up buff I think I've already used already uh, if not in this round the next round for sure But anyways, she's almost done in the first round and I'm feeling good I'm nervous a little bit. You can't see it on my face because the lighting does not do me justice here, but it's done All right claps. Yeah, I did it. Oh my gosh titties. So anyways, she had the ice form at first and now she brings the fire form and at this point I I mean, this is where I died at a lot, so I was sweating a tad bit when she were getting to this phase. And even something I didn't even realize, I should have skipped the cutscene there because I'm being timed as everything as a whole. I didn't realize that because I thought, you know, people wanted to see it, so they have it. It's whatever. So I got my first death. My teammate has me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy for that. Uh, now, I do something somewhat soon here that I do kind of regret. It messed up a little bit of my, my time. I don't remember exactly when it's going to happen, but at this point, I'm trying to survive, right? I have one more health little healy thing left. Uh, that the, I guess the boss's health is looking pretty average. I could do this. I could pull it off. And I think soon, not not then, I, I make a mistake after healing myself. I have no more healing items left at this point, right? But really, the only thing I have to rely on for healing is my teammate's health bar, right? So I, I realize that. I go in, swipe, swipe. I don't think I did the thing in this match. There was a, a, a match where I had the wrong weapon switched out, and it kind of messed me up a little bit. But it wasn't this one. I think, I think yeah, yeah. So I just... So I just push forward and I win. Almost, almost push. One more swipe. One more swipe. I think. Yes. Yes. So I was the first person to go up. 
in the first person to kill the boss, all right? The other guy who was there was the second person to go. He had the second straw, uh, shortest straw, whatever. I don't necessarily know what this guy does, but comment down below if you recognize him and his channel and all that, and shout out to him. Shout out to both of them. Comment down both their channels and who they are um, when you see him on the stream and all that, okay? Four. Three. So the other guy's about to go and pretty much with not using the exact wording the vibe that I got from what this guy was about to do Was he's about to just absolutely decimate my current time, you know My homie uh, Cyrus kind of introduced him as like the Dark Souls guy So me not being a particular guy of anything but anime I guess was like oh well I guess this is where I lose because he goes second so I said second with the thumb up, that's crazy. My thing that I was self aware of, I did have a lot more play time with this game than I'm assuming both of them, maybe not Fruitcake, but I played the other pre-builds. I don't know what he played, but I played the other pre-builds. I played the, the, the demos, the betas, all that shit. So I have a better understanding of all this stuff on the sidebar here, because this is really what separates um, Code Vein from a Dark Souls game, right? So in the back of my head, I knew even if he has a better I guess reflex within Souls games than I do. I know about this more than he does. So when I saw his health at this point in the first phase from where mine was and shit like that, from how many items I had left, I didn't really feel too bad. You know, I'm, I, I think he was gonna die, and that was what I was banking on, and I was I was excited just from the sheer fact that. Yeah. So anyways, I'm gonna fast forward a bit because I'm gonna keep it equal. I'm gonna fast forward both their parts because he ends up losing. He dies right on the second phase. He got to the second phase, but. It just, it, it just didn't, oh, she didn't even heal him. Oh, she actually could have saved him, that's insane. The one thing I've seen here, it seems like your partner was glitching a few times. The glitch, it glitched the hell for me. Anywho, behind the scene, there was talks about, okay, let's do another round, you know? And, and jokingly, now I know jokingly, uh, you know, people were just like, I don't want you to win. I thought it was a joke, of course, but the actions then made it more real because how it was said, it was a one and done ordeal. After the first round, then whoever has the biggest time was to win. But we did a, a second round. Now, I wasn't too salty of the I idea of the second round. What made me salty is what happens when I participate right away in the next round and what ends up happening to me and what doesn't end up happening after this happened to me. I'll explain it. So anyways, it's, it's basically the same thing as before, nothing different. It's just when the bullshit hits the fan. So I think it's right here. Okay, she's down. I walk up, immediately die. Devastated. My, my teammate tried to save me, but it genuinely just glitched out and I didn't get the healing. Nothing happened. It was a, it was the honest glitch, an honest glitch. The fucking D1 was speechless. I'm confused. I'm thinking, cause the round two really came from giving, from, from my perspective at the time, the round two happened giving the other two people a chance, right? I'm genuinely getting cheated, literally glitched to shit. And I'm expecting me to go again, because that just seems fair to me. I don't get the privilege to go again. They said, I'm dead. So you're dead, you're dead. I was very frustrated, not really even showing so much on my face because I'm not, I'm not a sour sport on camera. I'm a sour sport to myself, right? So at this point, I was getting pretty frustrated because from my understanding, you know? But fast forwarding to just kind of show the level of my plot armor, um, both dude dies in the second round and so does Fruitcake. She dies as well too. So at this point, I'm feeling good. God and anime have never led me astray. But then they were talking about how they're gonna have me go against the producer. And whoever had the better time between me and the producer of the game is then going to dictate who wins the prize. From my understanding, how everything got cleared up, that was, I guess, a joke that was gonna happen anyways, but the actions is what I'm focusing on more so than the words. It's like he's saying this and then they're doing this the set thing. I'm getting a bit pressed. You know, I'm Arthur memeing to shit right now to myself because I never loved the, f I don't like, I don't think anybody likes the feeling of your time being wasted, right? Me asking to come to participate and then getting noticeably fucking cheated in my face doesn't feel good, you know? But that that's my perspective of it anyways. So then the producer comes through and off the bat, I did the big, I can't do the gulp right now, but I did the big gulp because he's doing stuff I've never even seen before. What are these entitled? This is beyond me, right? And then he even goes as far to switch into the hammer for the weapon he's decides to use. I'm sweating. I'm like, okay, it's over. I don't get this trophy. I don't even want to be here at this point. I was, I was very pressed. I was very pressed. But remember, it was a timed event. So regardless, even though he had the tech, I was still faster than dude, right? 
And at this point, I'm hearing, you know, goofs and gaffs about, I guess we're going to keep the trophy. So I started wilding on Twitter just a tad bit, tweeting about what I'm kind of telling you from my perspective. And then, needless to say, they tell me I won congratulations off camera before it was on camera. Now, I definitely did clear this up with, um, you know, my homie and stuff like that, just making sure the understanding. I needed to figure out where they're coming from with this. And really, it was just a misunderstanding, thankfully. It was more so on a friend tip that just got pushed in a way that made me not think that. But I am thankful for the opportunities of, you know, being able to participate in that thing. And God and anime still <sighs> made it sure that I would bring this bitch home and I don't really feel too much animosity. Hugs and kisses. And that's really all it is. That's it. I do want to give a big shout out to you guys because everybody in the stream, to both streams that were there, y'all really do make me re realize how strong Team send you and just the support that y'all blessed me with is. And I... I don't know the words anymore to thank you guys for giving me the time of day, but just know that I love you and this a million subscribers I'm about to hit before the year ends. This is for y'all.